In this video, I'm going to talk about target hemoglobin A1C in diabetes patient. So the hemoglobin A1C is individualized based on age, comorbidities, and life expectancy. So healthy adults, uh, less than 65 years of age, no major comorbidities, target A1C is less than 7%. Some guidelines also allow less than 6.5% uh, if achievable without risk of hypoglycemia. Uh, and the rationale behind is that tighter control reduces microvascular complication, which affects every organ of your body. Older adults, 66 to 75 years, with few comorbidities and good functional status, um, so, the life expectancy is higher. Target A1C should be less than 7.5. So, basically in between 7 and 7.5. But elderly people, more than 75 years, multiple comorbidities, uh, limited life expectancy, or they have a high risk of hypoglycemic risk. Uh, in that case, target A1C is... Um, 8 to 8.5%. Rational is that you got to avoid hypoglycemia and medication side effect and focus on quality of life. Patient with advanced uh, complications like renal failure, heart failure, dementia, target A1C, hemoglobin A1C individualized often is much higher, 8 to 8.5. So younger and healthier, you have a stricter goal. Older, frail, multiple comorbidities, you have a looser uh, goal. Now, how A1C relates to average blood sugar? So hemoglobin A1C reflects a glycation of red blood cells, which live to be around 120 days. So it represents an average blood sugar in the past three to four months with heavier weight on last four to six weeks. So in general, what it is, if somebody's A1C is 6%, average blood sugar is 126. If somebody is around seven, it's 154. If somebody's A1C is 8%, then average blood sugar is 183. And if it is around nine, then average blood sugar is 212. If it is around 10, then it's 240. If it is around 11, it's around 270. And it's 12, it's definitely 300 plus. So in summary, hemoglobin A1C goal 7% in general, 7.5% for older healthy person and 8 to 8.5% 8 with frail or somebody with a multiple illnesses. Now, how does A1C to sugar relate? So a rough estimate is this, 1% is equal to 30 milligram of uh, sugar per 100 ml um, rise in average glucose, okay? So 1% is equal to about 30 uh, milligram. Um, and this A1C reflects about 120 days, which is about, um, uh, four months, right? But last month counts the most in the way the, the uh, whole test is set up. Um, so I wanted to uh, really empower you guys to know about A1C. So if you have diabetes, so you know where things are. It's a memory test. It really helps to uh, figure it out. Um, but last month, last uh, month, uh, before the blood test plays a significant role, just to remember that. So um, if you have made any changes, which is so drastic in last 30 days before the test, is gonna have its impact on the A1C test. Um, but in general, uh, one point, one percentage increase means about 30 milligram per deciliter of blood, uh, increase of blood sugar. So that's about A1C. Thank you for watching.